Java style guidelines. So here are some commonly followed style guidelines that are used by most Java programmers. So you want to provide very descriptive identifier names. You also want to capitalize the first letter of a class name. Start all variables, objects, and method names with a lowercase letter. Make all final or constant variables names in all caps separated by underscore characters. Separate most items within a statement by a one blank space. Also indent Java statements two to four spaces or a tab within a block of code. So let's go on Eclipse and I'll show you guys some examples of how you should follow these Java style guidelines. So let's create a new class. I'm going to right click on my default package and say new class. And when you're naming the class, make it start with an uppercase letter. I'm going to call this style guidelines demo. And every second, third, and fourth word, and so on, starts with also starts with an uppercase letter. This is called camel case. I'm going to click the checkbox to stick a main method in there for me automatically. And here we are. We could start writing our program in the middle of this main method. Notice that the class name style guideline demo matches exactly the name of the file. If this didn't match, you would get an error. So if I was to rename this to style guidelines demo one, you get an error because the class name doesn't match. And make sure it starts with a capitalized letter because otherwise people may confuse it with a variable or object or a method name. This is the class header. Notice that it has a set of curly braces right after it and it ends right here and everything inside is indented over a couple spaces or a tab and this is the main method where everything inside its own set of curly braces should also be indented a couple spaces or a tab so I can start typing statements not hell but hello world and it prints it out on the screen and notice that everything inside the main method is also indented a few spaces over. So use proper indentation and if you're going to name a variable int some variable and assign it to a value make sure the variable starts with the lowercase letter so people don't confuse variable names with class names when they're looking at your program. And make your variable name meaningful like some variable doesn't really mean anything to me. I have no idea what some variable means but maybe age it's a clearly defined identifier that represents a person's age, so and that could be set to five. If you had a constant variable like the value of pi, you could say final double pi equals 3.1415. Make sure that its name is all capital letters. If there was more than one word, like sales tax, separate it with the underscore. good practice to have a single space between every part of a Java statement. So a single space, although it's not required because most white spaces are ignored unless it's you know between the word final and double that's required there. And this space is required. However, these spaces are not required. And there, I have an entire video on Java white spaces that you could watch to get more information about that. And this is actually not printing out anything because I didn't print these out, but let's do that. Hello world. Let's print out age. Let's print out sales tax as well. And you can see everything is printed out. And let's say that you had very bad indentation. The white spaces were all over the place and curly braces didn't line up. And let's just say you had some very strange looking code and it looked, it looked like that. So I'm going to move stuff all over the place and this is some hard to read Java program. Whoops. Let's put this over here. Let's split this up and print line on a separate statement and out on a separate statement. Let's put the semicolon down here. And let's, I mean, I guess you could technically write a Java program that looks like this. And it'll actually still work and print out the same results but it's very unreadable and if you if anybody else was looking at your program they have no idea what you're trying to do what you can do in Eclipse is you can format it very easily if you're not very good at indentation and 
aligning up your curly braces, you can go to Source and click Format or just press Control Shift F and that will automatically fix all the formatting in your Java program just like this. So it's very useful if you want to clean up your code and make it look easier to understand and presentable and have all your indentation correct.